टर्म स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रेट्स सो वी योर फर्स्ट लेट्स डू दिस क्वेश्चन थ्री बॉन्ड्स ईच पेइंग एनुअल कूपन इन अरियर ऑफ सिक्स परसेंट एंड रिडीमेबल एट वन जीरो थ्री पर हंड्रेड नॉमिनल रीच द रिडेमशन डेट्स इन एक्जैक्टली वन टू एंड थ्री ईयर्स टाइम रिस्पेक्टिवली द प्राइस ऑफ ईच बॉन्ड इज नाइन्टी सेवन पर हंड्रेड नॉमिनल कैलकुलेट द ग्रॉस रिडेमशन ईल्ड ऑफ द थ्री ईयर बॉन्ड एंड देन कैलकुलेट द वन ईयर एंड टू ईयर्स पॉर्ट्रेट सिंप्लाइड बाई द इन्फॉर्मेशन गिवेन सो अगेन विल गिव दिस सो पार्ट वन Our question is nine. We'll write ninety-seven is equals to, and we have been given two years. So six v plus six. Oh, you can just write six a three. So alt shift b was my shortcut, and six a three plus one zero three v to the power three. Okay, this is my equation. using calculator and hit and try you have finally 0.08 plus 97 Point two two seven minus ninety seven. If you are directly getting from the calculator, you don't need to write this. Also, you can just directly do this minus ninety four point seven two three into zero point zero one, and then you get your answer to be I is equals to zero point zero eight zero nine one or eight point zero nine percent per annum. ओके एंड देन दिस इज माई ग्रॉस रिडेमशन इज पार्ट टू आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट द स्पॉट रेट्स सो फॉर स्पॉट रेट्स लेट आई एल बी द स्पॉट रेट फॉर टर्म एन लेट आई अंडर स्कोर एन बी द स्पॉट रेट फॉर एन एच टर्म Okay, so then all t equals to ninety seven is equals to one zero nine v underscore. If you see, it's written i one percent. So v underscore i one. So this is i one. So if we calculate this, all t equals to i underscore one is equals to twelve point three seven one percent. This is directly from the calculator, and for second year. It will be ninety seven is equal to six v underscore i one plus one zero nine v square underscore i underscore two. Okay, we know the value for i one, so if we'll just put in the value, then i two is uh, or it equals to one zero nine into one plus i underscore Two to the power minus two is equals to ninety seven minus six divided by one point one two three seven one. So therefore, I two is equals to nine point zero four nine percent. Okay, so this is your answer for this question. Next question, we'll do the same paper. We'll come to question seven. An insurance company has liabilities of six million due in eight years' time and time eleven million due in fifteen years' time. The asset consists of the asset consists of two zero coupon bonds, one paying X in five years and the time, uh, and the other paying Y in twenty years' time. The current interest is eight percent per annum effective. The insurance company wishes to ensure that is it immunized against small changes in the rate of interest. Determine the values of X and Y. Such that the first two conditions of Reddington's theory for immunization are satisfied. So we need to calculate the first three, first two conditions. Let's see what are the first two conditions. So first, again, new page for a new question. Question two. Here we have 
v underscore a is of i first condition uh, we'll write wait part one first condition is pv assets is equals to pv liabilities right this is there so alt equals to present value of assets we'll calculate so present value of assets we know is x v to the power 5 plus y v to the power 20 and alt equals to present value of liabilities is equals to 6 v to the power 8 plus 11 v to the power 15 so this is my this is there and now we will find the second condition which is uh, DMT asset is equal to DMT liabilities second condition DMT assets should be equal to DMT liabilities or we can just first differentiate both of them to get the answers so PV dash underscore assets is equals to minus 5V to the power minus 5XV to the power 6 minus 20y v to the power 21 and alt equals to pv dash underscore b sorry l is equals to minus 48 v to the power 9 minus 165 v to the power 16 ok solving Simultaneous equations. So, first equation A is equals to six V to the. I'm not writing anything. Just present value of assets is equal to present value of liabilities and B says DMT liabilities is equal to DMT assets ok if we see I'm just take, telling what they are doing, taking 5 times of A and 1 plus 1 plus I times B, we get minus 18 v to the power 8 minus 110 v to the power 15 is equals to minus 15 y to the power y v to the power 20 so if we solve this all equals to y is equals to 18 into 1 plus i to the power 12 plus 110 1, pl 1 plus i v to the power 5 divided by 15 so alt equals to y is equals to 13.79688 where i is here just write the value of i at the rate i is equals to eight percent okay substituting 
back in a all to equals to x is equals to 5.50877 okay so this was 0877 then this was back again hence the value of 0 coupon bonds are these two now we need to check for the third condition so part 2 third condition is convexity of assets is equal to convexity of liability uh, convexity of assets greater than convexity of liabilities greater than convexity liabilities so if this is the condition or it equals to v dash underscore a is equals to minus 5 x v to the power 6 minus 20 y v to the power 21 is this was v dash a v dash dash underscore a is equals to 30 x v to the power 7 plus 420 y v to the power 22 okay so therefore now putting the values so substituting the values you get 30 into 5.50887877 into 1 plus i to the power minus 7 plus 420 into 13.7679688 into 1 plus i 1 plus i to the power minus 22 solving this you get 1162.31 now all t equals to v underscore l is equals to minus 48 v to the power 9 minus 165 v to the power 16 so v dash dash underscore l is equals to 432 v to the power 10 plus 2640 v to the power 17 Solving this we get the value of 913.61 Okay Since V double, v double dash A is greater than V double dash L Third condition is satisfied Okay so we see that Reddington's theory is three conditions, portraits and GPR all we have covered here. Thank you.